two last minute incidents against the same side home and away has cost us two points. Um, that's a bizarre twist of an unfortunate twist of fate, that's for sure. Well, I mean, I start beyond that, really. I, I thought we've come down here with the right mentality to perform um, against a very good side. Um, you know, and I thought we worked diligently to, to soften their threat. I can't say stop it because they've got threats from all over the pitch, but we softened their threat. We looked effective at times on the counter, which you have to do at places like this. So I was generally pleased with all of that. Um, and then, you know, they get the lads sent off. I haven't seen that one. I don't know whether that's a sending off or not. Um, and then we've had to work really hard to get something because they're, they're packing numbers behind and then breaking themselves, which they do effectively. And we get back in it, and then you, really, you, you know, you can't believe the, the, the decision because, I mean, the mad thing about it now is you're probably all aware that they have to sort of wait until something happens before they get the flag up. But if you think about it, before he just put his flag up because he's offside. So then he has to wait, and then the ref gives a decision. Now, now the linesman has to be brave because he's under pressure now. He's thinking, oh, God, he's given a penalty. What do I do, I do now? Kind of thing. I don't mean he's literally thinking that. Whereas if he just put his flag, he's offside. We all know, well, some of you might have seen it, he's offside. Simple as that. So that's really, really disappointing. Um, what do you do? It's, it's one of them things, but it's, we can only hope over a season we get, get something back. So the challenge isn't, Ben doesn't make the challenge, does it? Like, well, it, exactly. He has to make the challenge because the lad's already a body in front of him that's offside. So now he has to work extra hard to try and get around him to make the challenge. So he wouldn't have had to have made the challenge because if you get what I mean, if he was level with him, Ben would have dealt with the ball anyway, or it would have went out. I feel it's a penalty anyway. Pardon? I feel it's a penalty anyway. I'm not sure. I mean, you, you know, earlier on in the game, Giroud goes for an overhead kick, and I mentioned the fourth. I went, surely that's dangerous play in the middle of the box, and he said, well, he wasn't close enough to it. So then, uh, the winner against Ben, he's he's clearly going for the ball. He's only got eyes for the ball. The lad's stooping to head it. It's an honest challenge, but. That aside, it, we don't have to worry about that because he's offside, so the, the linesman has to give that. Did you see the, the, the Gabriel one for start as well, the sliding challenge on the board, I think? Uh, no, is that not so good then? I haven't seen it, no. I'm sure it'll be shown. It's, 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 it's how, many, how many times now this season? Well, you know, you don't want to be crying in. Um, we just hope for balance over the season. Um, you know, when you're playing these top sides, you, you need everything. You need you to play well. To stop them playing well, if you like, you need you know, a bit of the rub of the green sometimes, which I didn't think we overly needed today. I thought we defended by good shape and good habits. Um, but you certainly need the officials to do well. Um, and overall, they, they did more or less, you know, the right decisions at the right times. But that's, I don't think at this level you can get that one wrong because it's so clear. We're not talking about an inch or anything. We're talking about sort of two thirds of a body's width. I think, you know, that has to be good. I think Pat Carly, I was speaking about, I'm wanting to speak to Mike Rowley. Is that something you do? <coughs> I don't think there's any point um, because the difference with today is, uh, however many people out there are watching it saw it. So, so really, what you what you're going to prove, you know, it's it's just a bad moment. You know, it's unfortunate because it costs us another point, and that's two against these. But you just like to say you hope over a season that they. Generally, I think the officials are good. I, I like the officials what they do in 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 the game because it's very tough. I've spoken quite clearly about retrospective banning on cheating, which would make their job even better and even easier. But today is nothing to do with anything other than a moment in time when the linesman doesn't make a decision which is, well, I think quite obvious. At this level, that's, that's an obvious one. You didn't, you didn't play like a team when you got one point away from home. I mean, you looked like you were more than capable of getting a result. Well, we, the mentality has been good for early season. It wasn't, you know, I try and be honest with these things. Early season, we weren't good enough. It's simple as that. Didn't play well enough away from home, didn't deserve anything. But the last, certainly two, three, maybe four games, We've certainly, I think, delivered enough to get something. I thought we were decent down at Tottenham, at West Ham, second half particularly, not so much first, second half, very good. And today we've come to a, you know, I must say, credit to them, they didn't stop themselves either. I mean, you know, you've got to remember, the, these, are, these are players fighting to, to try and win something for their club. And, you know, I mean, I don't want to get too carried away with the decision. They kept coming in with 10 men, they tried to play. Of course, they packed the defence as well, but they broke out, they keep the ball well, and all of them things. So we don't want to start getting involved in too much of that. But we came here with the right mentality today, the right structure, a team willing to perform. And that we have done over a number of games, or certainly the last three or four, as I suggested, away from home. That's going to be important going forwards because we've got to keep believing, especially when we deliver a performance. Certainly an organised and spirited performance today. We still know that we can add quality and grow with our quality and our belief. But, you know, we done a, I thought we did enough today to get certainly a point out of the game. Your team started off very quickly and very aggressive in terms of pressing. 
and taking the game to Arsenal? Was that an intended target to try to get at them? Well, to be honest, we. It's part of what we want to do uh, most games. It's just that sometimes it doesn't work, you know, and, or sometimes the opposition are very good and they play out the press, etc., etc. We, I thought we did what we needed to do tactically very well today. And, you know, I was pleased with that. Um, and when they did break through a press or where they break through a shape and, you know, then we still worked them outside of the box, really. You know, there was a couple of moments and it's, it's hard to keep teams like to no moments, of course, because they've got some fantastic quality. But like I say, it just leaves a bad taste in your mouth, one decision, because the other, if the, if the game ends 1-1, I'd be coming in here going, I thought our team were very good, which I still thought they were, in the sense of what we need to do to try and win games. It only really leaves a bad taste in your mouth because of a moment in time, and that's that's the, the shame and the, the, the unfortunate thing about, about football, is if it goes out of your hands, because not forgetting, you know, apart from the moment, is our team's actually doing what it should do. You know, they've played deep, they've played deeper, we press, we get out, so they're actually doing what they do for the correct reasons. So therefore you need the officials to make that decision because that's what my team's job is, to clear the box. So he's offside. So they were actually doing the right thing. So I'm not going to knock them for doing the right thing, that's for sure. And is that what you've told the players? Have you tried to... Take yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's no... We're pretty good on not, not getting involved in too much disappointment there. You know, we know we're at the top level of football. It's, it's a difficult challenge. So we don't get too... You know, you get a knock, you get a little dent now and again, but you don't get broken. So uh, there's a lot of good things to come out of our performance today. Well, it's I just one of the things. Sorry? Could I just ask if you're a fan of video replays? You... Well, I think it's the future. I think whether I'm a fan of them or not, I think it will come because, you know, you, you obviously hope not to have to look back at some of these decisions over the season. But two points against a team like this. Yeah. If you read that on our current league form and where we are, I think people would say they're going along nicely. So they've both been taken away f by, a, by a decision. Um, so therefore, I think it's highly likely over time that some form of video, play, uh, video replay will be used. Um, we'll, we'll see, but I think it is likely over time that it will be used. And that point could be crucial at the end of the season. Hopefully. Well, that's why I said hopefully. I don't have to remind myself. Of it. I'm trying to get that out of my head already, to be honest. Um, but it's it's difficult when it's just happened, you know, because it's, it's it is tough coming to play. So I must make clear, he's a fantastic side, great manager, great club. So you know, there's no. Uh, there's nothing against them, they can't do anything about the decision either. You know, it's one of them things that went in their favour today. Sure, your, your team looks so well prepared when you come to the stadiums of the, the top six for away games. Are there any fixtures come up that you, you really put a focus on to think that they're, they're, the, they're the games where you're going to finally get these points away from home? No, we try, and, we try and have the right focus on every game because we, we're not powerful, we don't consider ourselves powerful enough and we're certainly humble enough to know that, that it's a big challenge in the Premier League, home and away no matter who you're playing. So we try and respect every side that we play against. Um, so some of the intention of today would be what we do. The important thing is today, and, and in other games, you know, we have to let the players know about the opposition, of course, to give them the understanding and the depth of knowledge that we can do in preparation. But it still comes about your performance, and, and I was pleased with that today. You know, we're not trying to tell anyone anything other than we've got a good group of people who want to do well, play from a good shape, want to play mixed football. I've never said we want to roll it around, you know, 500 pass a game. We want to mix our football and make it awkward for the opposition in order for us to gain success. And there was good signs of that today. So whoever we're playing, we have to focus and concentrate as much as we know about the opposition. We have to know that we've got to deliver a performance, never more so than when you're at some of these top sides. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, a bit of a worry, but you know, when you see players, particularly ours, everyone knows the honesty that we show as a side, um, and see them go off on the stretch. I don't know any news yet, um, but obviously, it is a bit of a worry until we find out more. We just hope for the best. Well, so, I mean, obviously, Ashley Barnes been with the Leeds Aston Villa, obviously, he's made a final plan. How many links? Come on, Liz. How many do you want to throw at me? Yeah. Give up. Okay. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you.